So up until now, for most of us, we all knew, all that we knew of a total eclipse of the sun was thanks to Carly Simon and Bonnie Tyler. But now millions will get to witness the solar eclipse that's going to take place on Monday. And this is when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, blocking the entire sun from view for a period of time. Depends on where you're standing, but it's usually about two minutes and then it goes on somewhere else. 14 different states it'll cross through. There can be years, sometimes decades and decades and decades between each event of this kind. On Monday, the eclipse's path will stretch from Salem, Oregon to Charleston, South Carolina, with approximately one million people expected to visit the state of Oregon alone because that's supposed to be the best seat in the house. But if you thought traffic jams or no parking spaces were the only things eclipsing watchers needed to worry about, add this to the list of distractions. Workers in the U.S. will see some $700 million in productivity loss due to this attraction or distraction, if you will. Our next guest says, hey, that's great for me. He's cashing in on the event. The man selling solar eclipse glasses that are approved by NASA American Paper Optics President John Jarrett. Hi, John. Are those? Are there any left? How's business doing? Business is great. We are still cranking glasses out and uh, still selling them all over the uh, country. How many have you sold? We are going to go just over 45 million glasses when we when we stop production. Okay, I want to do some math here as a business network anchor. I know that. Each of those pairs is not expensive, $4, but there's a hitch. You have to buy 50 in a pack. So four each times 50, correct? That's correct. And tell us now how you got the word out that yours were the ones that were really spot on, were approved by all the officials who needed to make sure, because is it true that you can maybe go blind if you stare at the sun just as the moon is passing through? Yes, you should never look at the sun without proper eye protection under any condition. And we had our glasses uh, lab, tests, lab tested and ISO certified a couple years ago to meet the new safety standards for looking at the sun with safe solar eclipse glasses. So that's why ours were the first out there, and that's why NASA approved them. And I've produced almost a million glasses just for NASA to distribute. Well, Amazon has had a bunch of recalls. Amazon was selling some of these other glasses that were proven not to be safe enough. Does that surprise you? Uh, it disappoints me that that has happened, that there's been enough counterfeit glasses that have come into the market, not just on Amazon, but in other places. And uh, quite frankly, for an inexpensive item like this, it's just surprising that somebody would want to try to take advantage. It's such a scene. NASA jets are going to be chasing this just for research purposes. They'll be going 460 miles an hour. I know here in New York, uh, it's going to literally be a couple of minutes and it won't be a total eclipse, but it'll sort of be partial. I have seen some places, and obviously you're the expert, that at the very moment that the sun is eclipsed by the moon, you can look at it without glasses. Is that true or is that a dangerous thing to try and do? Now, once the, if you're in the path of totality in that area stretching from Oregon to South Carolina and you're in that path of totality, once the uh, sun is completely covered by the moon's shadow, that's the only time you're allowed to take your glasses off for that short duration of period. And that's what the aha moment is. That's the great experience. Supposedly there is going to be. And as soon as the yeah. sun starts. Go ahead. As soon as the sun starts to peek back out, you get those glasses back on. Right back on. What made you do this? I'm always fascinated by entrepreneurs, and I know our viewers are as well. And you are manufacturing right here in the USA in Memphis, Tennessee. That's right. Well, we're the largest manufacturer of paper 3D glasses in the world, and I've been making Eclipse glasses for 25 years. We've sold over 2 billion paper glasses. So it's a natural extension for us to continue to sell optical products that allow you to look at the... Uh, Eclipses. Supposedly, there are such exciting things to see once it actually happens. The moon is very mountainous, and there will be glittery parts where the light is somehow reflecting off the moon. Have you um, ever seen anything close to something like this? Now, I, the only eclipse I've ever experienced was in 1999 in Europe, and it was absolutely amazing. Really? And you mentioned traffic earlier. Yeah, and we, we drove, it took us. 10 hours to drive 150 mm. miles to get to northern France to, to witness the eclipse, but it was incredible and worth it. Yeah, and by the way, we understand in Oregon, I believe it's Highway 26 and Highway 97, there are 30 to 50 mile long stop traffic jams, massive, so uh, good luck getting over there. Um, so you're telling me that these won't work, right? These are my, my sunglasses. <laughs>
<laughs> no, yes, you do not want to wear regular sunglasses for sure. Well, these look pretty good. I mean, I can barely see the floor crew here. <laughs> Thanks, John. Good luck to you. Thanks so much.